Okay guys, so today's project that we're working on is actually, dun da 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 we're gonna be using washi tape and we're gonna be doing more glitter today. So I recently, I don't know what made me wanna do washi tape, I'm not very sure what put this on my radar. Sometimes I get inspired by something, but I'm not sure what I got inspired by. But I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna do, I wanna see what it's like to use some washi tape on polymer clay. If you guys don't know, uh, let me look at my little thing. You can get washi tape basically in all different colors, sizes, um, patterns. So these are some of the ones that I have right here, but I also got, um, I actually got these from Hobby Lobby. But I recently also ordered um, some from Amazon. So this is some of the, uh, this is um, the Van Gogh, what is this thing? Starry Night, I think. I can't remember. I know it's Van Gogh and, and it's impression, but I can't remember. I think it's called Starry Night. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Y'all drop down in the comments if you know what this Van Gogh painting is so this is the one which has a bigger washi tape um and different sizes so i will also like to do a collection that's inspired by this but to start with i decided to use um this pink one to start with and have some other ones i want to do a honey um, soon i'll do like a bee collection and i'll use these so i got those for those so today we're going to be doing washi tape so yeah, let's get right into this video. Hey girl, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been a part of the Oh So Pretty Squad, I'm so glad that you're back. If you want to join the squad, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and you are in. On this channel, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my handmade accessories business as well as give you helpful tips and helpful information for running a small handmade or product based business. So don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let's create something oh so pretty. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I am doing is I have some white clay and I'm cutting out some ch shapes. So when I decided to cut out the shapes for this particular collection, I really wanted to make sure that they were good size shapes so that I had room to put the washi tape on them. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just tearing a piece of the washi tape on there and then I'll trim up the excess a little bit with some scissors but really and truly I'll really get it trimmed up once I bake them and I go to sand them that's where I now sand off any of the little bit of the excess um, washi tape that's still hanging kind of over so basically that's all I really do is stuck on well um, if you need to reposition it it came off well so if I needed to take it off and put it back on it was really easy to do either one also, whenever I baked it, it still was kind of repositionable as well. Like it didn't like bake down, but so it was still really good. So I really loved um, the using the washi tape. It was my first time, like I said earlier. So I really can see a lot of different options and adding a lot of different designs to my work in the future by using some of this washi tape. So yeah, I really liked it. So let's just keep watching. Oh, my God. 
all right it's glitter time so i made some more glitter <laughs> it was glitter last week it's glitter this week so this week i decided to make like a rose gold glitter this is actually like a a pink gold glitter but i also mixed it with some gold glitter so it's kind of even more like rosy gold because i added the gold in there so the color came out really 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 nice i really love this color i mean i can see myself making a whole collection with something in these rose gold glitter earrings i also want to do like some rose gold resin so those are coming soon too anyhow these oh my gosh guys this glitter is insane i'm obsessed with making these glitter clay earrings because they are so vibrant especially after the resin they just look amazing so yeah love them also during when i was making these glitter i decided to do some prototypes of this design i just kind of was messing around i yeah i don't know how they'll turn out I did already resin them. I, I need to re-resin them again. So they're a work in progress. But I really loved this being like more of a statement stud. Really loved it. So yeah, we'll see if they come to the shop. I'm not sure. But this is just a part of the process when it comes to making, doing different prototypes, doing different techniques, just really trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work and how things wear and how they don't wear. So I'm super interested in to see how they turn out. All right, so now this is the part where I'm going to be kind of really buffing, not buffing, but sanding off the excess of the washi tape. So the washi tape after they're baked um, is hanging off. So I take, I really love using this nail um, sander or what is this called a nail file I guess it's like a file this is the ones that they use in the nail shop I get these off of Amazon but they're really great because they're easy to hold in your hand it's just really easy to work with when it comes to like sanding the backs of your earrings and sides and things of that nature so I just really use this to like rub off the excess of the washi tape so it comes out clean it looks very clean and professional it's not taggered or raggedy or anything like that so I just love using that and then I went back over it a little bit with my Dremel but for the most part I got all the excess off with my with that little nail file buffer thing it's a really a file because it's a it's a has some grit to it so now what I want to do is I'm adding a little of the glitter that I made with some UV resin. I'm mixing that up because I want to incorporate some of the glitter on the white and the rose, the washi tape part of the component. So I'm going to do like a line right where the white meets the tape to kind of I don't feel like I needed to cover up that tape line right there, but I just wanted to really bring some of the glitter down that I'm going to use for the tops. I really just wanted to bring that down in the component. So that is the reason why I just decided to add this glitter line. All right, so I just resin everything. And now this is UV resin. I'm going to do two part epoxy on the rest of it. But this is all UV resin. And then I'm going to finish resining this with a two part epoxy. And this is going to sit overnight. So I'm going to let this sit outside in the sun. Hopefully there is sun. And then we'll go from there. These are looking but, so good. And don't worry about buying them because they're already sold from the website. Oh Bye. my gosh. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, we'll see you in a minute. All right, so this is me thinking about doing this um, paint marker on it. I really was thinking about doing some polka dots. I don't know. I just wanted some black and white action to happen. I thought it would look really good with the washi tape and the glitter and all of that. So I was just like, well, if I don't like it, I can always take it off with some acetone, but you know it doesn't hurt to try it this is prototyping basically I'm kind of trying out this whole concept to see if it is a viable concept so yeah I ended up really liking it so 
it turned out really nice. I thought it was a little different spin on it. It added some pizzazz. I think this gave it like this really like spring, you know, vibe to it with the polka dots and the flower print and the glitter. So yeah, I really ended up liking how they turned out. So I think it, I think I, I think I'm digging it. Let me know what you guys think in the con in the comments did I go too far with the polka dots don't tell me that I'm just kidding do I want to know I'm just kidding anyways let me know <laughs> if I went too far with the polka dots or are you digging it okay just let me know if you're digging it if, if you didn't like it keep that to yourself but let me know if you like it <laughs> give me an emoji if you don't like it just do that just <laughs> I'm just kidding guys tell me what you think but anyhow, I loved it. I would say this about it. Um, if you can see on the squares, I did like more of the polka dots. I liked it on the round ones. I did a little less or I spread it out a little bit more. So I'm trying to like work with it and see which version I like. As for right now, I like where it's less is more. I will say that. The other one isn't bad, but I do like the round ones best. The squares, they're nice, but yeah, I like the round ones best. Now, these won't be for sale because when I actually did resin them, because I did it in two different layers, there's a little bit of divots in the resin, so they're just going to be for me and Amber or whoever, you know, my squad to wear. But I do plan on making a full collection where they're, you know, completely done right. Everything looks good. Showing y'all a little behind the scenes, behind the scenes. Showing y'all a little behind the scenes, behind the scenes. So this is what my space looked like outside of the camera, okay? When we're not super focused in on one area. So I'm finishing up this collection. That's almost done. It just gotta be a symbol and a little bit of sanding. I pulled these out. These were some I had and I think they look really good with those glitter and prototyping yeah but here we go so y'all can see the real y'all see the real real right here this is the real 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 giving y'all all of it but then this looks so pretty so my background is cute oh guys guess what I got birthday gift I'm gonna show y'all real quick this is not the time for this, but kind of is. This is when I got for my birthday from the squad. All these pigments. First of all, I know her. She was like, oh, yeah, these are all mine right here. All this purple. Now, she know I don't even like all that purple. <gasps> More purple? Oh, she doing the most. I just really noticed this. She got a lot of purple in Interesting, personally. Interesting. Oh, more purple? Wow, did you literally buy all the purple she had? Wow. This is a pretty purple, though. Wow, but yeah, I got all of these for my birthday from the squad. Oh, this one is pretty. Wedding cake, love that. That'll be really pretty on something. So, yeah, if you guys like purple, you're in luck. Purple is definitely in every single package. And I think she did this on purpose. Like, she barely got anything. That's what I got. I bought all her pink anyway, so. Uh, this orange is really pretty. I love this orange. This will be really pretty for the summer. Definitely doing something with that. Ugh, gorgeous though. Gorgeous. That's my birthday gift. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I loved how these earrings turned out. I'm wearing some now. I just love them. They turned out so good. Um, and I just can't wait to wear them, kind of see how they work out and see, you know, how the washi tape, I think the washi tape will hold up fine. It is under resin. I mean, they look amazing. So I don't think anything will go. I do notice that whenever I resin, because I did these resin, Twice. I did like the line of glitter then I went back and did the resin on top like the full but it's not as it has a little dip in it it has like a slight little dip where they meet where the two resins kind of meet so the next time I do this collection if I make it 
you know, as a full collection, which I'm sure I will. We'll just see how they wear. Um, I'll fix, I'll rectify those. But they look super cute. I mean, they look amazing. They are just stunners. I love them. These are a nice, like, little spring, spring look. I just love it. So, yeah, they'll definitely come. I definitely can see myself making some of these, uh, more of these, but oh, they are adorable. I love them. They turned out really pretty. I love the polka dots. And if you guys know, I just used a um, acrylic paint marker for the polka dot. So yes, I'm excited to wear these and test them out for you guys and hopefully bring them to the shop real soon. But I love them. I love them so far, so good, they look so good. So, catch you in the next video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up for me. Hit that like button, it means so much for my channel. Also, leave me a comment, let me know what was your favorite pair. If you've ever did this technique before, let me know, talk to me in the comments. And then, subscribe to this channel. I know that 56.2% of you guys watch my channel. Obviously, you love the content. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button because I would love for you to be a part of the oh So Pretty Squad. So like, hit that subscribe button for me so you're in. And yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Peace out. See you next time.